Hi right, guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. It's the Nomadic Toolbox. This is the uh, this is my favorite helmet right here. This is my favorite helmet that I've uh, I've tried out. I tried out quite a few. It's hard to find a good one. This one is superior in many ways. <laughs> this is the HJC Arfa 11. This is an old design. It's been around. It's been around for quite a while. I know it's a little dirty. You know, I use it and clean it when I need it. <laughs> This style has been around for a while, but it holds up. It's still a great design. The biggest, the biggest factor is, is the airflow. To be totally honest with you, the airflow is outstanding. I've got some other helmets. I've tried out a few other ones and they just don't breathe. This one gives you so much ventilation. It almost feels like you're not wearing the helmet at all. I highly recommend this helmet in this particular model. If you look up the color schemes, you'll see this one is on sale. I got a good deal on this one. It doesn't match my bike, the, my bigger bike, but um, for the price, you know, and you get an excellent quality helmet. It's it's like a, a mix, a blend of carbon fiber and fi uh, fiberglass. So it's actually incredibly light. I picked it up. I picked this one up and then I picked up a, uh, what was it? Some other high-end helmet and it, that was all carbon. And I'm telling you the weight difference was was um, minimal it's a real great helmet i think the biggest factor the biggest vent that makes the difference is this one right here it seems small it seems pathetic it seems like it doesn't do anything it does this brings air right to your brow right to your forehead right in this area and you actually feel it on a cold day is when you can actually feel this thing working you can feel all the air flowing in here this is the most important one right here in my opinion this one gets your brow nice and cool. Also proper function, functioning vents. These close all the way up open, you know, in sections, but it's not, typically it's either all the way open or all the way closed. You got this, uh, you got this latch, which is nice. It's easy to find. It's easy to close. You got this vent in front here. This is your standard vent that blows air up here under your visor. And then you've got another one. You've got another one on the inside that opens up holes here and those go straight back directly into your mouth. You can actually feel the air, whoosh, clean, fresh air right to your mouth. So you can see it on the inside. Yeah, there's those vent holes right there. See, they're opened up, they opened up. And heck, you'd probably get some more flow if you wanted to by cutting that out a little bit. See, when I close it, they're gone. See, open it, there it is. Um, so you got top vents, you got the brow vent, you got the, the the face vent, and then you got for the mouth. And then on the back, you got these. Not only do you have these here, these vents back here, but you've also got these on the side here. So there's just plenty of air being pushed in, as well as um, air being sucked out. Light helmet, the material inside is really comfortable and uh comes with these visors that pop on and off real easy you just have to press this switch and it literally pops right off Bloop, bunch. there it's off see that's off and it snaps back on just as easy it's off, Boom. It's off. Okay. there you go and you can switch it with the clear one i haven't seen the one with the transition lens yet that'll be cool if you look inside here this is actually another big thing you want to look for when you're looking in a helmet this might be the next most important thing. This might be the most important thing. This and then the uh, the the brow vent. You got to peel this this padding back, and you got to see how deep these grooves are where the air flows in. Air comes in, and then it's got to be able to flow around your head. A lot of times, these companies cheap out, and they put these little shallow little little shallow little grooves that don't do nothing. Why can't I see? Darn it! Oh, I'm pulling that one over. Darn, you can't really see. There we go. Looks better. This has got four of them just on the top. One, two, three, four. You can see. You can see that one down here. Two, three, four, and then it it circles around the back, and plenty of plenty of air moving around your head up top there. You know, it's very important. You got to feel in there and make sure they're nice and deep. All this padding comes out pretty easy. It's got this this buckle system, which is nice because you can hang it on your bike still. You can always upgrade, I guess. It's got the emergency release for the when the police get there so they don't have to yank the helmet off your head. They can pull the pads out. 
this is the only helmet you need it's a race style helmet but you know it's lightweight it's it's attractive it's sleek and it breathes man it breathes all right guys i highly recommend this helmet look for this color and it's on discount i think it's something around 300 bucks compared to paying like 500 bucks for it all right hope you guys enjoyed the video leave a like subscribe to the channel leave a comment tell me what you think of this helmet or what helmets you recommend i'm always looking for more helmets to, to try out and review y'all have a nice day see you later